All right, guys, here's all three of my literal crystal batteries. As you can see, they are literally crystal batteries. The electrodes are copper and aluminum. Uh, this one right here, the one on the left, far left, is uh, the bad one. The one didn't work because of uh, being shorted out by the metal that was in the pipe cleaner. So that one's no good, but it looks kind of cool, so it doesn't produce any voltage because it's shorted out. Um, actually, that might work as my, my favorite as being shorted out because it, the, the being shorted out, I mean, it should uh, be a great test to see if the metals start to uh, deteriorate deteriorate away. So yeah, uh, this one right here, the middle one, was the control cell. This one uh, produces about, uh, like I said, about 200 millivolts. Um, this is a borax crystal. Let it grow. <clears throat> well, there you have it. This is just a control. So I, that was just to see what happens. And here's the start of the show right here. This is the um, the polycrystalline structure literal crystal battery. As you can probably notice, the this polycrystalline it's much clearer than the other cells. While these control cells were very white looking, this one's almost see through. So I found that very interesting. And the crystals grew very very different on this one too. Uh, it grew very differently. It's, it's so. It's kind of got the uh, same structure as the other ones, but the makeup is very different. And on this one, I, how I made it was very simple. Um, uh, borax crystals, uh, four cups of boiling hot water, add 12 tablespoons of borax, and then I added a little bit of salt substitutes and Epsom salt to it. Just to see what would happen, I'm just trying to make a polycrystalline structure. It basically means it has the uh, crystals inside of crystals. And, um, yeah, it looks like it came out pretty well. Uh, I'm not, I don't know how I am about the voltage on it. Uh, I'm going to hook it up anyway. And there you are. So it, it is heavily fluctuating, but that's not bad. This is the polycrystalline structure. So do keep in mind that um, the metals are copper and aluminum, so these are not the highest performing cells. See, it's, it's, it's all over the place over here, the voltage. Um, that is crazy how that voltage is acting. Um, do yeah, like I said, do keep in mind that the voltages, even though it's a half a volt, um, <clears throat> and all all other cells were producing about 1.4 volts. Uh, but those 1.4 volt cells were actually using two uh, different metals. It was using copper and magnesium. Uh, right now, I'm using copper and aluminum, so I am getting very lower voltage because of the uh, the metals I am using. Mm. I did try magnesium, but the problem with magnesium that it will dissolve and just straighten up water by itself. That's I need a thicker piece of magnesium. That it's a problem with ribbon magnesium. It's not as good quality. I need better quality magnesium too. Um, but yeah, here it is: the polycrystalline structure, uh, literal crystal battery, because it literally is a crystal battery. Um, like I said, the voltage is all over the place. I mean, it's going everywhere. It's going up and down, up and down. That's crazy. So this is, um, <clears throat> at least this is what I think uh, Marcus Reed is talking about in his crystal cell. Um, but yeah, this, you can't get any more crystal cell than this thing. And like I said, this has got a borax crystal with the um, Epsom salt and salt substitute added in with it too. So you can see it's different than all the other cells because this cell is polycrystalline. Uh, you can see how the older cell, the control cell, is much wider, while the newer polycrystalline structure is almost see-through. So, yeah, very interesting. Uh, very interesting. This cell is.